governor. We are not, not, not going to be explaining. When we're explaining, we're losing. Now we'll protect you from this bullshit. We will attack, attack, and attack again. This is Paul Turner, former presidential aide and the guy for politicians in trouble. He's called the master of disaster. But I need Sophia I've by your side. I've got the, uh, Monica, I'm calling him. And this is me, Kirsten Ree, his assistant. I learned more in my first week with Paul on how it all really works than in four years of college. All right, okay, I'll call you later. You don't worry, just, just go. Thank you. Hey, listen. I didn't have much. Absent father, mother with two low-paying jobs, and my sister Mary, my big sister, who always dreamed of becoming a doctor. But as hard as my mother worked, she couldn't keep up the payments on our little house. And one day, the bank came and foreclosed on us. Larry Becker was born to run for office. He's taken on the Wall Street banks, who in return have declared jihad against him. And he's in a bare-knuckled re-election campaign against a crazy ex-baseball player. First, we moved into a homeless shelter, but that wasn't safe. And eventually, we found a tiny one-bedroom apartment, three of us. The press will most likely have questions about Afghan troop levels, the Travis base closing, levies, the budget, debates. Just blow through those questions and pivot to our message of the day. All right, great. Got it. Thank you, guys. Ah. All right, showtime. Stephen Green is the real deal. War hero, cares, actually knows the facts. And he's cruising for re-election against Duff Campbell, who has none of those things. But Duff does have good hair and unlimited money, which is the mother's milk of all politics. My mama struggled day and night, but it, it wasn't enough. So eventually, my, my sister Mary, she had to quit high school to get a job as a waitress. Both of them working just to provide me with some food, clothing, roof over my head. What is the Air Force going to do about the Travis? As a former Navy SEAL, what do you think about the way they handled it? Gas prices are at record high. Companies are making enormous profits. What's your response? Okay, these, guys, these are great questions. I'm going to get to all these. But my primary purpose here today is talk about our most precious natural resource, which is our children. We now live in a country where over two thirds of the population is overweight. Now, 90% of our middle schools no longer have daily gym classes. At night, I'd, I'd hear my mama come home from her late shift. At the as I lay there in bed, I could hear my mama cry. And I, I, I ask you, how is it possible that a country that can afford to bail out the Wall Street banks to the tune of over $2 trillion, trillion, how can that country not afford to have those same banks from taking away the American dream from so many hardworking Americans? It's just not right. This is a crisis, and it's a crisis that we owe it to our children to solve. And the time to solve it is now. Thank you. Senator, 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 why don't you go fishing for the three-day weekend? We'll dump the divorce news after five on Friday by tipping the AP to the legal filings on an embargoed basis. It'll play on the wires after seven. It's the perfect time for a document dump. All right. Talk to you later. You'll live. Ka-ching, the money shot and the message of the day. This one's yours, all right? Oh, God. Are you okay? Yeah, all right. Nice. All right. Come on. No. Same thing? Yes. Yes. Now, as I stand here in the governor's house, the people's house, I am using the power of this house to help keep the people of Kentucky in their houses. Today, I am sending a bill to the state senate that offers real and solid protection from the kind of cruel foreclosures that my mama and so many hardworking Kentuckians have been forced to endure. Now, I'm asking for you to back me on this. It's, it's fair, it's decent, and it is right. to do that. You're an aide, not a waitress. It's my pleasure. 
And can I ask you something? Of course. How much of that story you just told was true? Elena. 100%. Really? Room 1600? You heard Tony? To the rescue. 1600? Down the hall to your left. Hey, would you be a bit more obvious? I thought he was getting a masseuse. Not some starlet playing a masseuse. Hey, she and her company were vetted. Mm -hmm. She had the wrecks. Yeah, she has the killer bod. That's the only wreck that counts. You know, come to think of it, my back feels stiff too. Yeah, that's not the only thing you jerk. In Kentucky, we're going to the mattresses. Got some ideas on the statement. Well, they better be good. Because if he goes down, it's going to be a four-day school week there. The minimum wage will drop to 75 cents an hour. And you'll be able to light the Kentucky rivers on fire. <laughs> are we, how late are we? Real time or fall time? Exactly on time. How do you know this person? She's my law school roommate's sister. But the object is to get in, get out, and get back to the Kentucky mess. Max! Julia! Yes? Get me Paul. Get him now. Senator, let's just go through this bit by bit. What are we talking about? She's claiming that we did it. We did, did what? Do the happy ending or more? I'm sure she thinks it'll get her a bigger check. Look, man, I am dying because of your photo op, and now I'm dying because of this fucking psycho. Hey, and what kind of masseuse is this? Is it like a masseuse, masseuse or, or an escort? Julia got her from the Speaker of the Assembly. We're in room five. Okay, how many people know about this? Just us. Come on, man. This is... This could be a career killer. Okay, I need 15 minutes here. Make it 10, and, and I'm on this. Look out the door. Malnourished children, AIDS rampant, people looking for decent jobs, or any job for that matter. Victims of an education system horribly broken and hope something in extremely short supply. I, I completely agree, and I, I can only imagine what it's like to try to run this every year. And next year, you're gonna have even less money for this clinic. So in, in terms of fundraising, I think I should put you in touch with some deep pocket guys in Woodside, Pacific Heights, Internet, do good or bad I wanna guys. run for governor. <laughs> Excuse me? I wanna run for governor. <laughs> Well, I guess that's one way to solve your problem. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you why? For nine years, I have worked 12, 14 hours a day here, seeing what's working in our society, and more importantly, what isn't. And I, I'm not just a physician. I... I'm really sorry. Yeah. What do you want me to tell Maria's mom? Nothing from children's. Okay, we're going to have to road trip it. Get in their faces, guilt them into the transplant, and, and ask the OR nurses when Chris Anderson gets out of his last surgery. Sure. Okay. Dim sum on the way back? Perfect. Thanks. Ah, sorry, my life. Anyway, I'm not just a physician. I also do community organizing, a job qualification that didn't hurt our president. And uh, not to sound too immodest, but I think I can make people's lives better. Look, forgive me. You're Dan's sister, and I love him. And you seem like a very nice person yourself. But I got to tell you, and I think as a doctor, you'll understand when I say this, you need to have your head examined. I mean, seriously, because <laughs> this is insane. Running a free clinic with what the state gives me, that's insane, too. Okay, um, all right, we had something that came up, so I don't have a ton of time, but let me just walk you through this. If you are ballsy enough or crazy enough to do this, I can promise you an unending barrage of innuendo, vitriol, and lies. Everything will be on the public record, from the dope that you smoked in the 11th grade to the blow you did with your girlfriends during your college lesbian experimentation period. There's not one moment of your past that will not be scrutinized in excruciating detail. Done? Not yet. After that all comes out and more, the facts will be twisted, stomped, and exaggerated to the point that you will no longer recognize them. And if that doesn't do it, new facts will be made up 
so they can destroy you. Done?